Welcome back to the beautiful beach here at Ali'i Beach Park. Everybody down here enjoying the semifinals, heat one of the Hawaiian Pro. Mark Lacomere from France, Connor O'Leary from Australia, John John Florence from Hawaii, and Dave Cathels from the Australian island out there, the continent itself. You know, same thing with Sunset. I mean, Sunset could be two foot off the point, you know, at Sunset Point, or it's, you know, 12 to 15 foot closeouts. <laughs> First wave of the heat will go to the surfer in white, John Florence. Comes around the corner, hits the lip, goes over the handlebars, catches rail. He'll fall off on his first turn. Opener of this semifinal number one, John Florence trying to get into pace. He's paddled all the way to the inside corner to find that wave. The other surfer's out the back. Well, again, choosing that first wave, which usually has a bit more wind chop on it, which it did. You know, just uh, one maneuver section there. Went for it, drifting the fins, but so much blustery condition. Slater is here to see the final. We got John John's camp, Eli Olsen, Hawaii regional champ, Karan, all the boys here getting ready. Semi-finals, finals, things are heating up and the bleachers are filling up. You still got time to make it down to Haleiwa if you're on Oahu. If not, remember, you can catch it all on the WSL app. Okay, I'll do that right now. Uh, hey, Kelly. Kelly. Well, there's surfing going on, Strider. All Call right. You're, you're right. Like like Mark Lacomere is just going to town, smashing away. Three huge smashes on the open face right there. The crowd loves it. We got the Rip Curl crew on the right. You got John John's crew right there in the middle. So pretty fun to watch. Let's hear who lights up when John John gets a wave and see if they can match those cheers. Well, let's take a look at this wave. Again, great wave choice right out of the gates. He's been able to do it and establish himself with a good score every heat. He's been able to do this, and once again, he's done it. I think we're going excellent. You know, I mean, that was three solid turns. A little tentative on the final move, but those two turns on the outside. Look at that wave. Perfect positioning. You see how he waits off the bottom. That second section, always the money section, and he lays into it and gets the completion. Three big solid turns. Gosh, Lacomare looks really tough to beat. I mean, if he can keep this rhythm, he's fit. This is where we're going to start to see if anyone hasn't been doing that extra work. And that man just absolutely blitzed it. And then we had this wave as well. This was Connor O'Leary. And uh, again, fighting the chops. Not nearly as clean as we saw from Mark Lacomare, but so what? I mean, he was able to co you know, complete two full turns. That final maneuver was against and uh, attacked the lip, drifted the fins out the top. So nice work there for Connell O'Leary. These two surfers have been putting it on point, and here they are starting off once again. During the break, we had this wave. And of course, this is Lacamara trying to back up that 9.77. Smart move by him with fourth priority. Real quickly, he's going to pick up a little two-turn combo. Enough for a small score. But again, look at how much energy he's carrying. He is so fired up. When you get a 9.77 right off the hooter, oh, it feels good, especially when you're against the world champ. So uh, his kid is fired up. Again, he's been putting himself on the best waves right at the beginning of the heat and establishing a lead and then just backing it up. And that's that pattern. It's been working for him. Here we go. John John Florence glides off the bottom, snaps into the bowl. Beautiful whip in the corner. Looking for more on the inside. Goes for the lip line float out into the flats and sticks it down for a two-turn combo of his own. So he's going to start stacking some chips. Down on the inside, surfer in red, your heat leader. Hits up into the bowl one more time again for the sweep. A little corner to set up the inside finish. He's going to kick out in front of John John to reposition to get back out there in front of him. Here we go in the blue jersey. Connor O'Leary up into the lip for the first time. And again for the two-turn combo. Nice off the top. Pushes the fins out the back for the completion. Connor O'Leary from Australia looking like he came to set pace right there. Well, let's see what he happened here. This was that connection on the back end. Look how vertical he gets with that second maneuver. Judges eat that up. That backhand allowed to do that pretty easily. And same for Mark Lackmer. You know, his second wave, just a, a mid-range two. Sees John John there and says, you know what? I want that priority more than anything, more than that final move. This is a good wave for John. Just a 1.0 for that first wave. But again, he unleashes that layback snap, and he doesn't uh, hold back whatsoever on that first turn. You can see he puts everything into it. Wow. Dave Cathels huh? still no no waves. So these guys looking at waves now. John John taking a look on the inside. 
He'll take it. Comes around off the bottom, up into the lip. Boom! Oh. A big power gouge in the lip. Another one. And throws up a little foam climb right there. So two really fast, powerful turns. He's going to stack up a good score from that last one we saw. This one's going to better. Those are two really high impact turns. And just look at everything pushed into that turn. So much in a vertical face. Again, two turns. I mean, when you look at that 977, I mean, this is, it felt like it's almost better, but I think, uh, you know, we'll see where they scale it. But those two turns were massive. Hard to deny that. I mean, when you watch it live and then you watch it again on your screen, slow-mo, look at everything pushing into that turn. Again, completed right there in the most vertical section of the entire wave. Backs it up, chucking the fins, just whipping it, but also spray flying everywhere. So there's that power move with the flare and with the drift. And out the back, it looks like Dave Capels might get a start here. He does, he's up and riding off the bottom. Finds a lip line and a beautiful sweep in the corner. Off the bottom again, another big gouge on the inside, looking for another hit to finish off. Can't quite hold on right there over the inside, but beautiful surfing nonetheless. Behind him, the Frenchman. Lacamere pushes too hard, gets sucked over the falls. He's gonna have to reset. Now we've got a flip in the priority. Time is whipping by here, Pete. Late drop from Davy Cathels, but a beautiful first arc. Caught this one out into the channel, and it gave him two nice sections. He unloads on both of them. Goes down on the third, but two nice turns. And if you look and compare what we saw from John John Florence, you know, that two-turn combo got him almost to excellent. We'll see where that factors in. This one pushing too hard. I think he's really excited. I think that now all of a sudden he's, like, realizing, okay, I got to back up that 977. And up and riding out the back, live action. O'Leary from Australia comes around the corner. Bingo, throws the tail around, tries to find the reconnection and doesn't come away with it. Out behind him on a beautiful second wave of the set. John John Florence mistimes the first turn. Still going to go to work. Second turn, looking for something on the inside. Sets it up. Got the wind up. Bingo, throws the old three and comes down a little off the board there, straight onto the reef. Let's take a look at what happened to Connor here. Sees this wall down the line, had to wait, 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 and then times it for the one move. Bang, drifts and gets off balance and goes down. Uncompleted maneuver, it's gonna be a throwaway score. Here is the little bit of an error from John. You see that lip came down and it hit him right in the waist and it slowed him up. He then drifts the fins, all the foam there, and just says, you know what, I'm just gonna go for the Hail Mary flat spin does it right all the way into the shallows. I like that, Pete. An error. Error. As he was in the air. All right, on the backhand, Mark Lacomera looks like he's going to wind up off the bottom. Pushes hard in the corner, a lot of spray. Then straight up into the bowl, can't ride out of it. Mark Lacomera goes down. That's right, you know, we're, we're already, these guys have uh, put in an hour's work of competitive surfing. This is an hour and a half now. And, uh, you know, there's a, your adrenaline's pumping. Oh, what a heartbreak. Man, just not going to have enough time. That's all. It's over. Mark Lacamere holds on for second. John John Florence in first. And they'll all ride in as this thing is over. The boys come in. Connor O'Leary stacks up a great result. His, his run is over.